हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू कनेक्टेड टुडे वी विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट मार्क ट्वेन बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ रीडिंग द लेसन एंड द लाइफ ऑफ मार्क ट्वेन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक सेंटेंसेस फ्रॉम न्यू वर्ड्स एंड आंसर क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द चैप्टर सो लेट्स बिगिन Children, Mark Twain is the pen name of Samuel Langhorne Clemens. His writings are almost always humorous and have an element of satire to them. His ready wit shown through everyday conversations. Mark Twain was also a great defender of human values like liberty, equality and fraternity. He opposed wars and imperialism. and supported the cause of laborers and of the black people in his country america many anecdotes related to mark twain are told and enjoyed even today we will now have a look at some of these so children will one of you get up and read aloud for the class in doing so both me and your teacher will help you great let's read the first anecdote One day during a lecture tour, Mark Twain entered a local barber shop for a shave. This, Twain told the barber, was his first visit to the town. "You have chosen a good time to come," he declared. "Oh," Twain replied, "Mark Twain is going to lecture here tonight. You'll want to go, I suppose." "I guess so." "Have you bought your ticket yet?" "No, not yet." "Well, It's sold out, so you'll have to stand. Just my luck," said Twain with a sigh. "I always have to stand when that fellow lectures." Moving on, class. Will someone else read aloud the second anecdote from your book? Very well. Remember, class. Mrs. Harriet Beecher Stowe, a famous writer who wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. was a neighbor of mark twain for many years so let's start mrs stove was leaving for florida one morning and clemens the young mark twain ran over early to say goodbye on his return mrs clemens that is twain's mother regarded him disapprovingly why she said you haven't on any collar and tie he said nothing but went up to his room did up these items in a neat package and sent it over to mrs stove by a servant with a line you will receive a call from the rest of me moving on class will someone else read aloud the third anecdote so let's begin one day henry irving in the midst of telling mark twain a humorous story abruptly stopped and examined his friend's face You haven't heard this, have you? He asked. Twain assured him that he had not. When, some time later, Irving again paused and again posed the same question, Twain again reassured him. Then, approaching the climax, Irving broke off once more. Are you quite sure that you haven't heard this? He demanded suspiciously. I can lie once, Twain finally replied. I can lie twice for courtesy's sake but I draw the line there I can't lie the third time at any price I not only heard the story I invented it Moving on class will someone else read aloud the next anecdote with me So let's begin One day during his tenure as the editor of a small Missouri newspaper Mark Twain received a letter from a reader. One day, during his tenure as the editor of a small Missouri newspaper, Mark Twain received a letter from a reader who found a spider in his paper. He wondered whether this portended good or bad luck. Finding a spider in your paper, Twain replied, is neither good luck or bad. The spider was merely looking over our paper to see which merchant was not advertising so that he could go to that store, spin his web across the door and lead a life of undisturbed peace ever afterward. Moving on class, 
Will someone else read aloud the last paragraph with me? So let's begin. Mark Twain's birth in November 1835 was heralded by the return of Halley's Comet. Twain, who often remarked upon his curiosity, came to think of himself and the comet as unaccountable freaks, cosmically linked, having come together, he declared they would go out together. In fact, Twain was proven right. On the night of his death in April 1910, Halley's comet once again blazed through the sky. So class, now that we have finished reading the lesson, let us have a look at the new words we came across today and try to make sentences with them. Try to do this within 2 minutes. The words are sigh, disapprovingly, return, abruptly, reassure. portent and herald children as the meanings of these have already been shown to you earlier i will make sample sentences for you to get a rough idea show the sentences that you have made on your own to your teacher who will correct them for you so let us begin the sentence with sigh is rishan sighed the sentence with disapprovingly is his father looked at him disapprovingly The sentence with return is he decided to return the dog back to the adoption house. The sentence with abruptly is on his way out Rishan was abruptly stopped by his brother. The sentence with reassure is Ranj reassured him that the dog could stay. The sentence with portend is they wondered what this portended. And lastly the sentence with herald is Their mother heralded this as a sign of renewed friendship between the two. Children, with this we have now come to the end of this chapter. Let us quickly recall what we learned today by solving these one exercises. You have 1 minute to try these out. Answer the following questions. Did Twain tell the babu who he was? Was Twain particular about how he dressed when he was visiting friends? Who was telling a story to Mark Twain? How did Twain explain the spider in the paper? Excellent answer students now match your answer with this answer sheet no mark twain did not tell the babu who he was mark twain was not particular about how he dressed when he was visiting friends but his mother was henry owing was telling a story to mark twain twain explained that spider had crawled into the newspaper to look for the merchants who had not advertised So that's it for today class. Thank you and I hope you all had fun learning.